I've mentioned in the past podcast that I will be fucking scared off my ass too if certain groups of people want it be, be, basically ki kill me. I guess you could put it that way or kick my ass or whatever. I know I mentioned before that I was going to stop talking about the this whole butt light thing, but I just recently posted a video about the that the nineteen nineties funny beer but like commercial, and you know that went that, that went pretty well. And then, just when was it? Like yesterday, the day before, Dylan Mulvaney comes back from hiding, and he posted a video about it, and he had some stuff to say, and uh, I have some stuff some stuff to say about it. So let's talk about it. <laughs> So yeah, guys, Dylan Mulvaney came back and he had he had some shit to say, and uh, I kind of have to sort of kind of agree to some of the stuff he has to say, and uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, originally, I was planning to on making a pre-recorded kind of video, actually showing stuff and stuff, but I mean, uh, some stuff got in the way, and. Uh, Basically, I need I needed a podcast topic, and here we are. Uh, if you are watching the video podcast, guys, uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you are new or are really into the whole Bud Light uh, news and whatever you want to call it. You all seem to like that, but yeah, here we are. Excuse me, talking about it again. And so, yeah, Dylan Mulvaney came back and uh, he put up a uh, vertical uh, video. And uh, basically, first, first he starts off by saying, by uh, building, he 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 is honest. He likes being honest to his his audience, to the people that follow him, and his uh, social medias. That he uh, built the platform on being honest with them. I will start. I will, uh, already. I will start off by saying. Again, I have nothing, nothing against the guy, the girl. Sorry. See, it's confusing. I have nothing against this girl. But, you know, going going based off basic biology, somebody who, again, biologically is not a female you can you can go ahead and hate in the comments but i'm only saying what i have to say and also i've been saying uh, in the and season in the first season of the podcast of the buscast i am biased i don't care i don't give a shit so i'm only going based off uh common sense right common sense and so uh biologically uh this this girl starts off by saying oh uh i based off my platform on my social medias by being honest but that kind of is already kind of a little bit of, a little bit of hypocritical in there because of the fact that she is not a biological woman right to start off to start off but anyways, uh, other than that, I mean, I'm sure I, I don't follow. I don't follow him other than, other than uh, reading and watching stuff that Google has been sending me ever since I started uh, the podcast. Because uh, I've mentioned before that when I started this podcast, uh, I started talking about the, this whole Bud Light situation because when I started the podcast, it that has just that just like was already happening. Like it, there was the door had been open, and I seized the opportunity. And I'm like, I know what I'm talking about. I am a beer channel. I review beers. I feel something. I felt someone behind me there. I review beers, and this is Bud Light. It's a beer, so this is what we're gonna talk about. Oh, this is what I'm gonna talk about. So that's what happened. And, uh, you know, it was it was a good topic because, again, it's beer related, beer channel, even though uh, I've been trying to kind of sort of stray away from beer related stuff and kind of talk about, you know, random stuff. Because if I said before, uh, I do believe that this is uh, this is a, this is a, a chill 
place? Is it a safe place? All kinds of people are welcome here. I don't care uh, where you're from and your background, what you think you are, whatever. I don't care. If you're cool, you're cool. We're friends. We're friends. And that's that's the end of that. And um, yeah. Um, anyways, so Dylan Mulvaney going off by saying that, you know, honesty, honesty is the best policy. Not exactly like that. Right. But that's basically what she is saying and uh, saying that uh, she feels like she should have done this the video excuse me a long time ago but because of all the backlash or uh all the i believe she said bullying because of all the bullying all the oh my gosh she used another word what the fuck was that other word uh i think it was uh tra tra transphobia i don't fuck i don't remember the word but anyways all the all the shit that's been going on ever since Bud Light decided to uh, turn uh, Dylan Mulvaney into a a spokesman, right, or uh, sponsoring Dylan Mulvaney. Ever since then, you know, uh, she has been hiding Be again because of all the shit that's been happening. Nothing. Uh, Nothing good, nothing positive, nothing of the sort came about when Bud Light did this move, which is why she has been hiding this entire time. I've mentioned in the past podcast that I would be fucking scared off my ass too if fucking certain groups of people wanted to basically be, be basically ki kill me i guess you could put it that way or kick my ass or whatever but i can i get where she's she uh where, she, where she's coming from here i understand the fear i understand why she was afraid to speak out but then uh she also made a point that bud lights didn't re not really help at all by not saying and or doing anything when this entire uh wave of hate uh started happening i will agree with that there not so much on the whole uh honesty uh thing because you know i i already explained myself but i do agree on the whole uh bud light not saying or doing shit that part is true. That part did make a lot of sense because, I mean, if you are this huge, huge company and you decide to hire uh, or sponsor, or whatever the case is, a celebrity, and then shit hits the fan because of said celebrity, and then completely goes to shit, uh, in this case, Dylan Mulvaney's situation and the ghost of shit and the uh, Bud Light just kind of like was set to set aside like if like, oh, like this was your problem. Like they're pissed at you. That I do get that. I will back up Dylan Mulvaney on that one. She made a really good point. Also, something about the. Uh, uh, she says something about not uh, ever since the whole uh, sponsorship or whatever, she, there was no, uh, I think she, she said there was only one can. She only got a can with her face on it. And then something, something about her uh, hiding it too well in her home that she doesn't even remember where it's at. And uh, something about uh, her thinking that it, it should be behind uh it should be at a museum behind bulletproof glass, referencing the whole uh, Kid Rock thing, which is kind of sort of uh, where the entire the entire fucking thing happened. Um, because Kid Rock, you know, if you if you don't know, uh, he he posted a video uh, with uh, he put a. a giant stacks of Bud Light uh, 
at a distance on table by a leg, some shit. And I'm assuming that's home or one of his ranches or some shit. And uh, starts off by saying, oh, grandpa's feeling a little frisky. And then so-and-so. And then Glock's a fucking, I don't know what, some, some, uh, Sheen gun, I don't know what the fuck, I don't remember what it was. And then proceeds to shoot down the cans. Turns around and says, fuck butt lag and fuck Anheuser-Busch. And that pretty much set all this shit aside. Like, I don't even know, I don't even know the, 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 the right word to use because it's like, it's a, it's a waste it's a waste of fucking energy honestly like to be completely upset at something like this it's it's as if like these people are like like if, th if this was their company you know what i mean like i don't know but uh i'm going to keep going about the whole Dylan Mulvaney video and so uh, she goes on about that, and then she also mentions uh, that ever since the whole, uh, I'm going to take a sip here, ever since the whole sponsorship deal, um, there was no, uh, there was no commercials involving her, and uh, I think she even said something about a, that I was not on a commercial, I wasn't on a billboard. Or like anything, anything of a, to help promote the whole uh, Davy Mulvaney, but like you know, collaboration or what, whatever. There was not none of that because, well, uh, for obvious reasons, it didn't it didn't sit well with the consumers and the clientele's the long term clientele's. Of Bud Light, but uh, I'm gonna go back to the whole uh, Dylan Mulvaney saying, um, "Why didn't Bud Light step in and say something?" Um, and I think she even goes like, "It was as if like Bud Light stepped aside and allowed their uh, again their long time." Uh, customers or lifelong customers or however you want to call it to bash me. So basically she was kind of implying that this was a not so much of um, I mean it was a business move but she was implying it like oh this was just like a uh, some sort of uh, I don't even know the right word So, but basically get someone in this case a TikTok transgender influencer and got him in, got her in in order to gain attention, to gain uh, publicity, being bad or good. Publicity is publicity. More attention you get, more people know about you. In this case, Bud Light. Um, there was a publicity stunt. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. It was uh she was uh implying that this was just a publicity stunt for Bud Light, for uh again for the lifelong uh, customers con consumers to kind of get not get close together, right? Because there was there was none of that shit, but just to just to put just to put themselves out there. But I mean. I know I said that publicity is publicity, but how desperate was Bud Light so that they would make uh, a move that, again, I, I I'm not I'm not part of the marketing team or anything like that. I'm not I'm no marketing agent whatsoever. I do YouTube, right? That's as that's as far as I go, but. Uh, you think that the the mar the marketing uh, team and and Bud Light would have calculated this or foreseen this happening? 
this is their job. This is this is what they this is what they go to school for, and so on and so forth. Or they went with it anyways. Again, going to what uh, Daily Daily Volvani was implying, they they went for it anyways. To just again going going back to the whole publicity thing, they went for it anyways. Gain publicity. Not very positive publicity, but publicity nonetheless. But at the end, and it ended up fucking with them because I mean, uh, how I mentioned in the beginning that ever since uh, I started the podcast, because I talked about this in uh, two episodes, three just this past week, um, I get, I still get, I still get uh, stuff from Google, stuff about Bud Light. And they're they're not doing so hot. In fact, uh, I'm gonna quickly uh, look it up here on on uh, Google. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get something here, guys. Uh, if you are just listening in, uh, well, I'm not gonna show any. I I typically don't really show anything here in the video podcast, but uh, I'm just scrolling through my phone, and uh, and here we go. Look, Bud Light battle already been lost ahead. July fourth, former executive. And, you know, stuff stuff like that has just been popping up all the damn time, almost daily on my phone. So it's, uh, I, just, I, I don't know what Bud Light was thinking with this one, honestly. But, uh, yeah, back back to uh, Dylan Mulvaney's video, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, com- I'm coming back and forth, but it's at the same, uh, at the same time, I'm trying to see like what the fuck right like what the fuck like what was what was their mindset like and i'm only thinking about it a lot right now because i'm i'm re-watching and i'm uh i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to just make sense of everything because dino mulvaney came out saying so and so which i will continue talking about right now and it gets me thinking like it it just it just sounds to me that Bud Light knew what they were doing, or Bud Light had a death wish. <laughs> Either or, I'm not entirely sure. Leave it in the comments section, uh, in the in the video video podcast, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a question in the Spotify, and you guys can answer uh, the questions there, and let me know what you guys think. Like. What what do y'all think is the situation here? Do you think Dylan was treated unfairly, or what, what what's going on? I think that that last question about Dylan is a little far far fetched. Not far fetched, but well, you know what's been happening with her. So you know, yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so moving on. So yeah, she she goes on about the whole uh the only thing that came out of this whole Bud Light thing was her Instagram video. I'm gonna have another sip here. And that's all that happened. And um uh, uh and she, you know, besides you know her not being in some big old billboard and commercials. I do have to mention one thing. Uh, before she came out as a transgender woman, uh, she did have this reputation of being way too... She, she would try to get way too... Or at he at the time would try very very hard to gain attention um i can't remember the the youtube channel where where the they exposed that but if i can get the if i can get the name uh, i will put it the link in the description so you guys check that out so basically dylan mulvaney before coming out already was not looking very uh, not looking very hot 
because again, uh, desperate for attention, desperate for that, just just really wanted all eyes on him at the time before the transgender thing. I could be wrong about the be. Uh, I don't. I could be wrong. I don't. I'm. I'm not entirely one hundred percent sure on that. Let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. But basically, she was already known to be, you know, gain too much attention, um, very unnecessary attention, and so on and so forth. And uh, she goes on by saying. Uh, bullying, transphobia, transphobia was the word I was right, transphobia, and uh, going on about the whole her being completely, completely uh, scared. And uh, she did also mention this part was a little, I, I kind of got this part, where uh, the whole butt light reaching out to her for collaborations or sponsorships and whatever. And then it getting way too ugly, way too fast. She did say that companies shouldn't, or it should not be political at all whatsoever, working with trans transgender people. I, I can agree because it's like, they're just people, right? They're just people. And it shouldn't be difficult to work with people. Because it just shouldn't. Uh, Dylan Mulvaney is human. And there just shouldn't be all this fucking chaos. Because, you know, Dylan is you know, successful doing what he does, doing being good at what he does. She does. Sorry, not doing that on purpose. I fucking swear. It's just, you know, sorry. Sorry. I, I, I'm apologizing. Like, deeply sorry. Not doing it to be an asshole. It's just. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all I could say. So, uh, yeah, it should not be um, difficult. It shouldn't be political. That I do agree uh, with her. Because, again, she's human. She's a person. There should not be so much, so much bullshit. And, um, again, going back to her being not the most um that attention i'm gonna go ahead and say the attention whore that he was back then so it's like it could be a link between that you know because she was he at the time i could be wrong i'm not entirely sure guys i didn't do research i just am following current current news right uh, maybe because the she was such an attention whore, it now affected her, you know, now. Karma. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, there's that. There's that. But besides that, she is human. I'm going to go ahead and fucking adjust my goddamn chair here. There we go. But yeah, she is human. And there should it should not be political. It should not be political at all. Excuse me. I'm having another sip here. Bubbly mineral water, guys. This, this is why I'm so burpy. Oh, but it's so good. And uh, basically, she went on about, um, you know, the fact that She's had it hard ever since uh, the whole Bud Light uh, thing. She was basically also standing up for other trans people. 
saying um yes that she 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 got lucky because she got to work with her uh with her favorite beer company which I'll, I I should also mention I should have mentioned in the beginning she started off by saying that she was sick of people telling her that she doesn't drink beer or doesn't like beer while sipping on beer, which I can only safely assume it was Bud Light. So there's that. And um, yeah, uh, going on the what she was saying, uh, she was uh, going on standing up for other trans people and how she had it very fucking hard for when the whole Bud Light thing happened. And uh, she went, she went, uh, Along the lines of saying, if I had it this hard, being who I am, how successful I am, and uh, so on and so forth along those lines, she goes, uh, there are trans people who have it harder, who are, you know, who who just, you know, are n uh, normal people, you know, not non-celebrities. Who are transgender people who have it way harder than than I have or than I do. So there's uh there's the human and Dylan Mulvaney speaking out for others, speaking for other trans, because she gets the struggle, because she is in a struggle, and kind of a dumb one, at from my opinion, but you know, whatever. And uh going on about um you you know uh talking about other trans people and saying that there are more ways to support uh not that's not just the trans people but she also talks about the lgbtq plus i've been adding letters to that but now after watching the dylan mulvaney video i think i i, I might have seen it like like two or three times. I I now learned that it's LGBTQ plus. I don't know what the plus is, but I know that now. And so she went on by saying there's there is more ways to support trans and the LG. Well, I'm sorry, the LGBTQ community, LGBTQ plus community than just doing a donation at so-and-so somewhere, so-and-so event on Pride Month. So, again, that is the human side of Dylan Mulvaney, showing sympathy, just being a good person, so showing that she's a good person. And uh, she also says that... Uh, that, I thought this part was pretty cool. Uh, why would she mention it? I don't know. But basically saying, I know other queer and gay people who love, who like drinking beer. And I also know lesbians who can drink all you uh, beer drinkers under the table. I thought that was pretty cool. That was like, yeah, we, we got, we got game, bitch. That kind of, that kind of thing. I'm going to have another sip here. Showing uh, that even the queerest or the trainiest of people can drink you, drink you out, or I'll drink you. Cool. Those like uh, those sound like my kind of people. I would I would drink to the, I would drink with those people or to those people. And uh, she goes on about uh, uh, she went on about the you know other trans people having it harder. Um, Bud Light not speaking out when they she most needed them or not needed them, but like again going back to uh, you're uh, being a huge huge company and uh, hiring someone or sponsoring someone and then not hearing from them after shit hits the fan. That kind of that makes but like make but like makes themselves look bad because of that you know what i mean uh that's just a really 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 bad move on bud light and she pointed that out and you know she's not wrong 
she's not wrong. Company companies should not be doing that. It's like it's like me because I just I literally just had a pizza not too long ago. It's like me ordering a pizza by the so we'll call him Jose. We'll call the delivery driver Jose. Jose fucking uh, I don't know drops my or drives too fast to the point where my pizza completely goes goes to shit, brings it to my door. And I'm like, you know, I'm not happy about it. I complain. And, uh, you know, speak to the manager. I go Karen on on his ass. I go Karen on his ass. And, uh, you know, dude gets in trouble because I tell him off. And Bud Light just sits there quietly, does nothing about it. I, I wouldn't like that. I mean, sure, Jose should have been driving fast, right? But pizza could have been like, you know what? We will send you in another one, no charge, or like something, right? Point is, they would have reacted. Things could have, you know, been settled one way or another. Could have been settled out. Bud Light did not do that. And now, well, if you have been following... Uh, but like story, uh, I have not been keeping up so much on it. Again, I'm only uh, whatever catches my eye, whatever Google sends me and catches my eye. That's what I know about. And I stumbled upon the Dylan Mulvaney video. This one was YouTube, actually. I think this one was YouTube. And uh, that that one caught that one I liked because again, I know that this this person has been hiding. Again, because she's been she's scared for her life. She's been th- threatened, stuff like that. And uh, I get it. I get why she why she why she did what she did, and why she's responding so late. And uh, I think that's mo- mostly what she covered. Other than the whole, it's still being Pride Month, going and celebrating. And uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. And there's there's some link that uh, that she leaves. I'm actually trying to find it right now, and it's and it's it's not here anymore. I wonder. Weird. But anyways, the the video ends with her uh, saying. That she's going to celebrate being alive. She does a cheers. Only if you are drinking age. And that's the end of that. Uh, the last part kind of got me thinking a little bit. Because um, past uh, celebrities. And now, now I'm going based on uh, conspiracies now. Past celebrities have said... And done certain things that have gotten them killed. Like, uh, I'm not, you know what, just for the, uh, you know what, what was one of them? MJ, Michael Jackson, was going to expose some shit in his, uh, in his uh, last show. Didn't make it to that. There are a few more. I just can't remember them right now. But that's like the first one that came to mind. And uh, there were some other other uh, videos that, I, that I've heard of where people uh, say, say things like, oh, this will be my last video or this is my last message or something along those lines. And then they end up disappearing. Which got to me, which got me thinking about the Dylan Mulvaney's video because she ends it with that, and again, uh, could be his cons- uh, conspiracy theories, but which I like, I like talking about conspiracy theories, but uh, this this will this will probably, I'm not saying that it will end up like those other videos I just mentioned. But I mean, 
After, I mean, after everything that's been going on with Bud Light, after all the backlash, after all the fucking just stupid chaos that's been going on ever since Bud Light made this move, I have to say it, but it would not be surprising. It would not be surprising. I mean, the videos are out there. Proof is out there. But they're, you know, they're going to try to maneuver it in ways where, you know, it's not true. It was an accident. You know, stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, that the whole Dylan Mulvaney coming back and saying what she said. You know, how I mentioned in the, uh, how she started it off by saying, uh, her uh, platform being honest again, the whole biological thing. Yeah, seems like a bit of a stretch, but I get I get where she's coming from. I get where she's coming from. She 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 comes from a good place. Like her heart is in the right place, but her her unit is not. I'll say it like that. But I think that's going to be pretty much it for this podcast, guys. Um, that's, I think that's pretty much all I really had to say about this uh, this uh, comeback from Dylan Mulvaney. Again, I feel for her, but also because of her lifestyle, or whatever. It's just, just, it just, it's just complicated. Because people are going to be people and so on and so forth. Uh, all I can do is wish Dylan Mulvaney the best. I mean, she seems to be doing very well for herself other than, than that move with Bud Light. So just um, be safe out there, man. And keep doing what you're doing. Fuck what, it, what everyone says. And just, just drink a beer. Just chill, you know. I don't, that's really all I got to say about that. And uh, yeah, I think that pretty much uh, sums this podcast up. Um, but yeah, uh, if you are uh, in the video podcast, uh, you can go ahead and read what I'm about to put up here. Boom. If you are listening and or uh, watching the video, uh, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are not listening and are watching the video, please, uh, you can go ahead and uh, support and follow Buzzcast, Booze and Chill Podcast on Spotify. And uh, if you don't, if you get uh, your eyes get too tired of all this handsomeness, you can just go ahead and listen to my voice and go through everything we just uh, talked about. Just minus this, minus the money maker, and uh, and if you want to keep supporting, you can go ahead and go to buymeacoffee.com, where you will be able to uh, hear uh, and see the podcast and anything else that I work on uh, day or days before. They go on the socials. And speaking of socials, you can go ahead and follow Booz and Chill uh, on YouTube, uh, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. And I think that's all of them. And if you want to keep supporting the the channel and the, the podcast, you can go ahead and become a member on Patreon. And same thing. You get early releases as well as stuff that you are never going to see on the YouTube channel and uh, possibly even in the socials. So you get some pretty good stuff, behind the scenes shit, and much, much more. And if you if you uh, did see the most recent podcast, uh, you might have heard that I do have a OnlyFans. You'll be very disappointed to find out that there's nothing in there. But uh, let me know in the comments. Should, should I do something with it? And uh, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps that up, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
and or listening in and i will see you guys in the next one and remember if you keep watching i'm gonna keep drinking peace out guys <laughs>